a four-year plan. It takes seven to ten hours a week. It doesn't take a lot of money. So what does it take? It takes the dream. Because if you don't have the dream, you'll never find the seven to ten hours a week. I can guarantee you that. You're busy. We're all busy. You're working. You're picking up the dry cleaning. You're making dinner. You're taking the kids to football practice. You're paying the bills. You've got to sleep. You've got to eat. All this. You're using 24 hours of every day already. So what's got to give? You've got to find a dream. Something that will take you to the frame of mind where you will change the way you live. You will change the daily actions you take. And you will change your mindset for a two to four year period. So that alarm clock will get off, go off at 6.30 in the morning. You'll get up, you'll have your breakfast, you go to work, you'll work eight or nine hours at your job, you'll get out of the job, you'll run somewhere, grab a bite to eat, and go somewhere and work for another three hours in the evening. When you could be home watching TV, when you could be with your kids, when you could be with your family, when you could be watching a football game or something else. But you will make a sacrifice. You will say, I will find the seven to ten hours a week for two to four years to build my freedom, to build my security, to build my independence. Here's the secret of everything I'm going to talk about tonight has to do with leverage. It's getting you out of the trap. And there's a big trap, okay? And this is the trap. It's people trading time for money. You work 40 hours, you get paid for 40 hours. So you make, you work 40 hours and you get paid $400 a week. If you only, if you're sick half a day and you only work 35 hours, you get paid 350. If you need some extra money because there's something that you want to do, you put in some overtime so you work 45 hours so maybe you get 450. Well, you know what? That is trading time for money. Time for money. Hours for dollars, hours for pounds, hours for tolars, hours for cougar rands, whatever the currency is. If you're trading time for currency, you can't get wealthy. It's a trap. You got to put some leverage to work somehow to get out of that. But I started a study of prosperity. And here's what I found. Two secrets of prosperity. If you want to be wealthy, secret number one, you have to be your own boss. You ain't going to get rich working for other people. Because let me tell you a secret. I don't care how nice your boss is. I don't care how much your boss loves you and wants to help you. The truth is they have to buy you at wholesale and sell you at retail. Otherwise, they don't make money and they don't stay in business. So the only way they make money off you is to buy you at wholesale and sell you at retail. So if you want to make money, you got to be able to get up in the morning, look in the mirror, and know that you're talking to the boss. And issue number two, and this is the, the most important thing, which we mentioned, you've got to employ the concept of leverage. And this is something, J. Paul Getty, who was one of the wealthiest people the world ever known, he understood this. And he was quoted oftentimes, this is probably his most famous quote, when he said, I would rather have 1% of the efforts of a hundred people than 100 percent of my own efforts because he understood the concept of leverage and he became one of the wealthiest people the world has ever known so tonight I'm going to share with you how you can employ this same concept of leverage that the wealthiest people in the world do and it allow you to get your share of that kind of wealth now, how do you put this leverage? It's a business called network marketing, sometimes called multi-level marketing. Sometimes we call it MLM for short. What is it? It's a business that allows you to leverage the efforts of other people who have a dream and are willing to trade that seven to 10 hours a week to get a dream. So you're gonna introduce them to the business. You're gonna teach them a duplicatable system that they could follow and duplicate the same results with people that they're gonna to introduce to the business and create this system that everybody can follow and everybody will get a nice chunk of the organization that is built. And because you direct your own organization, because you are your own boss, you get some residual income out of the efforts of the people that you introduce to the business. That's the leverage. It's no different than when Madonna makes a record and they, every time they play that CD, she gets a royalty of that. 
when uh, Coppola does a movie and that movie plays, it gets a royalty of that. This is how the average person can get leverage. See, if you got money, leverage is not a problem. You can leverage your money. You can buy stocks, bonds, invest in companies, invest in real estate, all that kind of stuff. I couldn't do that. If you, you know, you could buy a franchise. If I would have bought a restaurant franchise instead of opening my own restaurant, a chances are I'd still be in the restaurant business. But you know what? I couldn't afford the franchise fee. I didn't have that kind of money. You know, ask someone about the stock market, they'll tell you, unless you got $25,000 you can afford to lose, don't even get in the stock market. Well, I didn't have $25,000 I could afford to lose. I didn't have $25 I could afford to lose. <laughs> Forget about it. So I didn't have the money to leverage. And if you got a couple hundred thousand, a couple million you can leverage, hey, maybe you don't even need to be here tonight. But I'm sp speaking to the rest of you who don't have that kind of money. And the rest of you who used to have that kind of money till the stock market tanked, <laughs> and now your, your retirement fund is 40% uh, of what it was two years ago.